welcome to Tyneside, mecca of the north and birthplace of British industrialism, the electric light and modern rail. And now plays host to one of the key events in the retro gaming calendar, the North Eastern Retro Gaming Expo or NERG to you and I. Games you loved made the pilgrimage north to Gateshead to experience one of the greatest arcade and console collections gathered in one place in the UK. While there, we caught up with organiser Philip Murphy and asked how long the event had been running. This, this is the fourth year it's been running. I'm an avid gamer. There's events all over the country. I wanted it to happen in the northeast, so NERG was born. And in that four years, NERG has grown from strength to strength, with people young, old and everything in between, travelling from near and far to experience the best in console and arcade retro gaming. When NERG first started, we only had 50 arcade machines and about 30 pinball machines. This year we've got 100 video arcade machines and 41 pinball machines, as well as all the consoles and computers as usual. The event will have, again, around 60 consoles and computers, and it's Steve Perry who's supporting us, and he's been with us from the very beginning. And it's great for him to bring his own personal collection here for the public to play. He travels all the way from Essex. So it's great to have him back. Other exhibitors included Pixel Arcades, a supplier of bespoke high-end arcade machines, including this Vulix 80K gaming rig and an amazing Fix-It Felix Junior replica. But there were many a trader too. Back to Philip. Another big reason for people coming to NERG is for the traders. And once again, we'll have a massive selection. We've got, I think it's 32 traders this year. And a special mention to Sawthumb Games, who are the sponsor this year, and that retro game shop who've supported us from the beginning. From the blend of different vendors to the wealth of free-to-play retro gaming, NERG got this mix of all-you-can-eat arcade smorgasbord absolutely spot on. But there was more. Another key part of the event was cosplay. Where else would you get to see Chun Li play Millipede? We caught up with cosplaying star Jen Tate and asked how she got started. So I started cosplaying in 2013. Um, I wanted to meet the Red Dwarf cast and I thought it would be cool to do a costume. So uh, I started coming to NERG two years ago. Uh, I absolutely love arcade machines and it's helped me meet lots of new people. I used to be quite shy, but now being in costume really helps you get to know other people. <laughs> And there was certainly a great cosplay community at NERG with the Geek Asylum sponsoring a costume competition with a cash prize. And the level of effort and detail on display was certainly incredible. But the stars of the show were inevitably the arcade machines with every genre covered from driving to shoot em up and all the classics catered for with the likes of Pac-Man and of course the ever youthful Paperboy and my own personal favourite Galaxians. What a classic. Beat'em up favourites were there too with underrated Simpsons Arcade, 4 player Madness with Gauntlet 2, while Atari devotees enjoyed the likes of Tubing and Road Blasters. Flyers, drivers and shooters had their fill with the likes of Operation Thunderbolt and Point Blank, and a first outing for the sitting arcade driving classic Outrun. But there was so much more too. Something in fact for everyone, and games you loved strongly recommend you discover the joys of NERG 2.